Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to attach the Dremel sanding bands onto the Dremel sanding uh, drum mandrel. And I'll take you through this step by step and I'll demonstrate also how to attach the sanding drum mandrel uh, onto my Dremel 8220. But before we begin, whenever you're working with a Dremel tool, make sure that you've read through your Dremel tools operating and safety instructions. Those will tell you everything that you need to know on how to use your Dremel tool both safely and properly. And make sure that you're always wearing the proper safety equipment. For this demonstration, I have on a pair of nitrile gloves and safety goggles. Okay, um, so the first thing we're going to do is get a closer look here at the sanding bands and the sanding drum mandrel, and I'll show you how we attach uh, the sanding bands onto the sanding drum mandrel with this wrench tool here. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to look at is the Dremel sanding bands here, and they make these in different grits, uh, which is pretty cool. So you can pick the grit that you want. Um, and then when we look at the sanding drum mandrel, um, there is a screw on the top here. So we're going to use the wrench tool and you want to make sure that that screw is loosened up a little bit. Um, that way you can fit the sanding band onto the sanding drum mandrel. And we're just going to use this one here for the demonstration and this will slide onto the sanding drum mandrel like so. Um, and then once you get it fitted on there properly like this, we're going to use the wrench tool uh, to tighten the screw back down. Um, and I'm just holding the screw in place with the wrench tool and kind of turning um, the sanding drum mandrel. And you just want to make sure that the sanding band stays on there properly uh, while you're doing this. You might have a tendency to slide, you know, up or down. So you just want to uh, keep an eye on that. And we just want to keep tightening this down. And what happens as you tighten this, you want to make sure that you get it um, all the way tight. The sanding drum mandrel compresses down and then will hold the sanding band in place. Um, so once we've gotten that secure here, um, you can just kind of test it to make sure that the sanding band is on there and we can see that it's holding on there firmly. Okay, so before we ever install or remove a Dremel accessory or attachment onto the Dremel tool, we need to make sure that it's both off and unplugged. And if you have a cordless model, you need to make sure that the Dremel tool is both off and to remove the battery if the battery is removable. So on my Dremel 8220, we're going to make sure the Dremel tool is off, which it is. And then um, the Dremel 8220 does have a removable battery, so I'm going to remove that now. And to remove the battery on this one, um, you just pinch down the sides and then the battery uh, will come out of the Dremel tool like so. I'm just going to set that to the side for now. Okay, so now we can install the Dremel sanding drum mandrel into the Dremel tool. Um, if your Dremel tool has the easy twist nose cap like this one, you can use this to loosen up the collet nut. Um, you can also use the wrench tool here. For this demonstration, I am going to be using the wrench tool, uh, but if you want to learn how to do that with the Dremel Easy Twist nose cap, I do have a video on that, and I'll link that video along with other Dremel accessory and attachment videos in a playlist at the end of this video. And if you're interested and have time and want to learn more about the Dremel accessories and attachments, please check that playlist out. Okay, so we're going to hold down the lock button here on the Dremel tool and that will allow us to loosen or tighten the Dremel collet nut. So I'm going to use the wrench tool here to get the Dremel collet nut loosened up, and then um, once I got it going a little ways there, um, you can continue to loosen it up by hand until we can fit the uh, Dremel sanding drum mandrel down into the Dremel tool. Um, you do want to make sure that when you put the sanding drum mandrel in that you put it down all the way. And then what I'm going to do is hold down the lock button here and then just use my hand to tighten up the collet nut to get that hand tight uh, while making sure that the uh, sanding drum mandrel is all the way down into the Dremel tool. And then we can use the wrench tool to get the Dremel collet nut all the way tightened like so. Um, and then this is what it looks like here when you're done. 
Okay, so now if you want to remove the sanding drum mandrel, we need to make sure that the Dremel tool is both off and unplugged. Or if you have a cordless model, make sure that the Dremel tool is both off and to remove the battery if the battery is removable. On my Dremel 8220, um, it's currently in the off position and we've already removed the battery. Um, so now what I'm going to do is hold down the lock button and then use the wrench tool here to loosen up the collet nut. Um, and then I'll loosen this up more by hand until I can take the Dremel sanding drum mandrel out like so. And then if you want to install a new sanding band, we can use the flathead screwdriver side of the tool to uh, loosen up the screw on the top of the sanding drum mandrel and then take the sanding band off like so. And then you could install your new sanding band and then tighten back down uh, the screw on top until the sanding band is secured in place. And yeah, the one thing I've noticed is the sanding band just likes to move around as you're um, trying to uh, tighten it down. So just something to keep an eye on to make sure that you do have the sanding band um, installed on there properly like so. All right, guys, well, that was it for this video. And like I said earlier, I do have other Dremel accessory and attachment videos, and I'll link those videos in a playlist at the end of this video. And if you're interested and you have time and you wanna learn more about the Dremel accessories and attachments, please check that playlist out. Thank you again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.